Hey, get away from her! What the hell do you think you're doing? Get off her! I said get off her! Yeah, I know her. She's my girlfriend. Hey, sweetie, are you okay? Hey, it's okay. It's okay, I'm here. Shh, you're shaking. Hey, it's okay. It's all right, it's all right. I'm here. Shut up. Hey, they didn't hurt you, did they? Uh-uh, don't come any closer. Don't you come near her, you hear me? Matter of fact, what the hell is your problem? What'd she do to you? That's some of the most pettiest bullshit I've ever heard. You hear me? Wow. Wow. Shut up. Shut up, okay? Listen to me, and you listen well. I don't want you coming near her ever again. Do you understand me? This is my girlfriend. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to protect her. I don't care if I have to throw hands with you. I really don't. As long as I know that my girlfriend is safe in the end, I'll do whatever it takes. So do yourself a favor and get the hell out of my face and stay away from her. And if you know what's good for you, you will leave her the hell alone. Screw off. Screw off. Hey, hey, it's okay. Hey, it's me. It's me. It's all right. Look at me. It's okay. It's just your prince. I'm right here. It's just me. Oh, oh. It's okay, baby girl. It's all right. It's all right. I got you. I got you. We're leaving, okay? I'm so sorry that this happened to you. I'm really sorry, really. No, no, it's not your fault, you hear me? It is not your fault. That was Nichelle, wasn't it? Jeez. Yeah, you've told me about her. She does not look like a great person. I'm sorry. She told me that you were clowning on her in class. Tell me what actually happened, because I know she was lying. Here, you can tell me while we head home, okay? Come on. I got you. I got you. It's all right. It's okay, baby girl. It's okay. I'm here. And I will keep you safe. So, tell me what happened. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Wow. That is childish. That is really childish. Wow. So, let me get this straight. She was trying to instigate an argument with you. She brought up petty drama that you had nothing to do with, but you were name-dropped there, even though you... You've told me multiple times you had nothing to do with it. She saw your name, and since she doesn't like you, she took it as a fact. And she got mad at you, and tried to get you riled up so that she could fight you. You didn't acknowledge it. You just ignored her, and minded your own business. And because of that, she took that as you embarrassing her. Wow. That is really childish behavior. Yeah, and it, um, it unfortunately led to this. Again, I'm really sorry that this happened to you. Hey, I'm proud of you. For doing the right thing. You were the mature one in this situation. She tried to instigate a fight with you, and you ignored her. You did not acknowledge her. You minded your own business when she was trying to get a rise out of you. You didn't let her get in your head. I'm very, very proud of you, you hear me? Really. I love you too.
You doing okay, honey? That's good. I'm glad you're getting a little better. So, is there a reason in particular that you don't want to fight back? No, 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 no. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with not fighting back. It's just, you've told me how, when you were younger, you would always fight back against your bullies. Is there a reason in particular why you aren't doing it anymore? Oh, you... You want to be kind. You don't want to hurt people. I understand. That's entirely okay. I completely understand that. If you don't want to hurt people, there's nothing wrong with that. I know, baby. I know you just really wanted to stop. What can you do? Well, um... Have you talked to the teachers about it? Of course they don't do anything. They never do. Um... Well, have you thought about fighting back? You have? You just don't want to do it. I, I understand. And again, there's nothing wrong with that, but... You do understand that there's gonna be a time where you will need to fight back eventually. I know. I know. Of course, yeah, you can totally work around things by talking things out with her. It may be tricky, but you could definitely pull it off. I know you would. But sometimes things just won't work out that way, and you'll eventually need to fight back. And in, in my dad's words, sometimes you just need to drop a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. He taught me how to defend myself when I was in middle school. This kid was picking on me a lot, and I didn't fight back. I didn't believe in violence, but one day when I came home upset that he picked on me again, my dad taught me how to defend myself, and he told me, you gotta drop that motherfucker. He said that that was how he was when he was in high school. That's how he dealt with some of his bullies. He told me that when he did that, no one messed with him. So when I went to school the next day, the kid was there and he started picking on me. And during recess, I was just minding my own business. But I kept repeating what my dad said to me in my head, drop a motherfucker. And eventually, the kid came over and started picking on me again. And this time, he threw some dirt in my face. And... <laughs> yes, yes, he put some dirt in my eye. But after that, that was the last straw for me, and I dropped him. I showed him what's up, and he never messed with me again. Did it feel good? Yeah. Did I feel bad? Yeah, I did. Because I don't like to fight people, but when it comes to it, I'll defend myself. And of course, I'll protect you as well. But there will need to come a time where you will need to fight back. And I'm more than happy to teach you some moves to help defend yourself. Of course. When we get home, we can totally do that. And hey, that kid who I dropped, he was fucking around. And that day, he found out. Michelle is currently in the fucking around phase. It's your job to pull her into the finding out phase. And I know if you did that, Oh, she will leave you alone immediately. She will never mess with you again. I promise you that, babe. Hey. Maybe we could stop and grab something on the way? Sure. What are you feeling? Alrighty, that sounds great. We can totally do that. We'll pick up some food and we can have ourselves a very chill and relaxing night. I don't want you to stress about what happened today. Again, it wasn't your fault. Just think about what's gonna happen tonight. You're gonna be home, and we're gonna spend all night together. We're gonna enjoy ourselves a nice dinner, and then we're gonna cuddle, watch some TV, or do whatever you want. Play a game, 
with hide and seek, whatever. Anything that comes to your mind, we will do. You want to go to the pool? Unfortunately, it's not open right now. It will open next month, though, so if you want to go to the pool next month, we can totally do that. Of course, honey bunny. All right. Let's go get our food and then head home. Hey, princess. How are you doing? You feeling all right? Good. Is the food good? Great, great. Dang, you ate it all. <laughs> well, I made you some tea. I actually made tea for the both of us. Here. Mind if I sit down? Cool, cool. <laughs> Go ahead, take a sip. Is it good? Okay, good. I'm glad I did it right. Yeah, I just grabbed the tea that was in the cabinet. Oh man, that hits the spot. So, if you want to talk about anything, or if you just want to sit here and just sip some tea, we can do that. Plans? Okay. We can totally talk about that. What do you want to do in the future? Oh uh, yeah, you've told me a lot about that. That's your dream job, isn't it? <laughs> well, let me tell you something, honey. You can do it. You can definitely do it. You've got this. You have so much determination to achieve your goals, and you've already achieved so much. And you're only going to achieve more and more amazing things in the future. Now, of course, this journey is going to be a long one, and it's not going to be easy. It's going to be a bumpy road. You're going to have stones thrown at you by life. And yes, you are going to fail. But that's all right. There's nothing wrong with it. Want to know why? Because you're going to learn from your failures, and you're going to get back up, not back down, and keep going. Trial and error, trial and error, you're still going to keep going. And you're going to push forward and stay strong. You are going to achieve so many amazing things. And you're going to do what it takes to achieve the goals you want to achieve in this life. I know you can do it. You are a smart and strong and talented girl. You're honestly the greatest human being I've ever met on this earth. And I know you're going to achieve big things someday. And I'm going to be right there cheering you on. Every day, I will support you and I will cheer you on in your journey to achieve your goals. And when you achieve a big goal, I will be there to celebrate your success. I will never, ever, ever leave you behind. I love you so much. And I cannot wait to see what this future holds for you. Come here. I love you. Hey, babe. I have an idea. Why don't you go take yourself a nice warm bath? It'll help you relax and get settled in for the night. And... I'm sure it'll feel really nice. Yeah. And you can take as long as you need. You can stay in the bath for as long as you want, okay? I'll be out here doing my own thing, and I'll be waiting for you, okay? Hmm? Oh! You... You want me to join you? All right. I can definitely do that. All right, I'll go get the towels. You, uh, you want to get the bathtub ready? All right. I love you, baby. Uh, make sure you also finish your tea. I'm almost done with mine. All right, see you in a bit. <laughs> 